एस चांद प्रेजेंट्स एजुकेशनल वीडियो लेक्चर्स एस पर दी ए आई सी टी ई कारिकुलम डिफिकल्ट कॉन्सेप्ट मेड इजी स्टडी एनी वेयर एनी टाइम वेलकम टू एस चांद अकेडमी सो दिस इज द सेकेंड पार्ट ऑफ द वीडियो वेयर वी वर डिस्कसिंग सीरीज सोल्यूशन इन द फॉर लीनियर डिफरेंशियल इक्वेशन ऑफ मैक्सिम सेकेंड ऑर्डर we have already discussed the linear how to write down the series solution for a differential equation for more details on the topic you can refer to the book from s chand publishing details of which are given on this portion and link is given in the description box so uh, we, the, the two things are clear one thing is that series solution is applicable in all the situations where the uh, normal method for finding out the complementary function that is the uh, coefficient has to be constant that is not a restriction here and for this the uh, we have already assumed the solution so for a given differential equation the solution has been assumed and then the derivatives of that solution will be found out they will be substituting back in the given differential equation and then the right hand side and left hand side will be we will be equating the coefficient of various parts of x on both the sides to find out the coefficient the co values of the constants so generally we uh, write down the expanded form and then we can find out the value of the coefficient now we have already established the recurrence relation in the last part of the video so if we go back to that so this was the recurrence relation which we have established in the previous part of the video so here we said that that this is not true for n equals to Uh, 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 that, that is the negative values of x and x e n equals to zero also. Now let us try to understand what do we mean by that. It is not true for n is equals to zero, so n can't be n can't take zero value. That means the value of a naught cannot be found out using this recurrence relation. That is, a naught has to be written in form of a naught itself, and. the value of a not can only be found out in one condition if the given differential equation is a initial value problem that is initial conditions are also written for the also given for the given differential equation otherwise it will be retained as an arbitrary constant so if we substitute various values of n in this one say n equals to 1 so we will get a2 equals to 2 by 1 plus 1 a 0 that is 2 by 2 this is a not and if you if you observe this from this one that when we have equated the coefficient the power of uh, the equate the coefficient of x raised to the power 1 we have got the same value but in this way we need to do the uh, equating of the coefficient n number of times while if we write this recurrence relation then we do not need we have no need to compare the coefficient of various parts of x n number of times while it will be equated only for x raised to the power n or n plus 1 according to the situation given and then such a recurrence relation will be written which will be true for the values of n depending on the situation like in this one it is not valid for n equals to 0 because otherwise we this will go to a minus 1 which is not true okay and then a not also so this is not true for n equals to 0 and therefore a not will be retained as an arbitrary constant right so for n equals to 1 we have got this value that a2 will be equals to 1 now if we substitute n equals to 2 in this one so we will get a3 a3 will be written as 2 by 3 a1 okay and then we need on we uh, keep on substituting this but if we look at this one we got the value of a1 as 0 we have already got the value of a1 as 0 and from this formula it is clear that whenever n will be substituted as a uh, n will be taking such a value so that the subscript will be uh, odd then this side also it will be odd like in the situation a3 we are getting in terms of a1 
since a1 is 0 therefore all the odd coefficient that is a1 a2 a3 all have to be zero so this we will be able to write down because of the presence of this recurrence relation otherwise we have to compare n number of times the coefficient so since a1 is 0 therefore a3 will be written as 0 and we can say that from recurrence relation from the recurrence relation which we have established from equating the coefficients on both the sides from recurrence relation we can say that a1 is equals to since a1 is 0 therefore a3 a5 a7 all are 0 all the odd coefficients are needs to be 0 right then we need to find out so we uh, we have with us that a2 and then we need to find out a4 so n equals to 3 if we write we will get a4 so a4 will be 2 over n plus 1 that is 2 over 4 a2 now a4 will be we will be getting in terms of a2 that is half of a2 now in this way we will be having n number of coefficient uh, n number of constants because a2 we we got in terms of a0 a4 we will get in terms of a2 therefore by using the relation between a2 and a0 a4 must be written in terms of a0 only because we can only have one arbitrary constant a0 here because a1 has already been uh, taken as zero value so therefore we will be using uh, the expression that a2 is equals to a0 therefore this will be written as half of a0 and similarly all the coefficient with even number uh, with even subscript they will be written in terms of a0 so similarly we can uh, write down one more coefficient so if n will take five value so it, this will become six it will be two over six a and this side it will be 4. So we already know a4 in terms of a2 further in terms of a0. So this should be written as 1 by 3 a4 and it is 1 by 3 into 1 by 2 a2 and it is a4 is 1 by 2 a2. So it is 1 by 3 dot 1 by 2 a2 is equals to a0. So it can be written as a0 by factorial 3 and this can be written as 1 by factorial 2 a0. So that's how the coefficients will be written. You can write number of coefficients because in this one, in this particular question, the odd coefficients are becoming 0. Therefore, at least we should write 3, 4 times. Therefore, we have, got, we have gone till a6. There. Now, the question is how to write down the final solution for that. So, since the assumed series was yx was a0 plus a1x plus a2x square and so on so forth, the nth one is a n x raised to the power n. So, we will substitute these values. So, a0 is will be written as it is, a1 is 0, then a2 is a0 x square then a4 was half of a0 so it is half of a0 x raised to the power 4 because it was a4 so along with that the power of x will be 4 and uh, then plus 1 by 2 factorial 1 by 3 factorial a0 x raised to the power 6 and so on so forth plus 2 over n plus 1 to, uh, this, this will be 1 over n factorial 1 over n factorial a0 x raised to the power n so on so forth from this one a0 can be taken out and it will be 1 plus x square plus 1 by factorial 2 x raised to the power 4 and so on so forth 1 over factorial n x raised to the power 2n 2n okay so it is this becomes the solution of the differential equation which was given to us since it was of first order therefore we are having only one arbitrary constant remember this phenomena is always true that the number of arbitrary constant will be decided upon the order of the given differential equation we cannot afford two arbitrary constant if the given differential equation is of one order therefore this should be taken as a general solution for the given differential equation which was of second uh, which was of first order that was y dash minus 2xy so we have written the solution using series solution method in which we have assumed the solution 
in series form because we need to find out the solution for x equals to 0 and this is the final solution. So for the given differential equation which was y dash minus 2xy that the given differential equation was of first order. Therefore, the solution is uh, having one arbitrary constant. So we have assumed the series solution about x equals to 0. x equals to 0 was an ordinary point. Therefore, we were able to write down the solution in the given uh, for the given differential equation. After obtaining the recurrence relation, we are able to find out the values of all the constants which needs to be put together in the uh, assumed solution. Therefore, after substituting the values of the co constants in the uh, assumed solution, here is the sol final solution written that is y x is equals to a naught 1 plus x square plus 1 by factorial 2 x raised to the power 4 and so on so forth that the nth term should also be written because we already know the recurrence relation. Now, we can understand that if we are not able to write down the recurrence relation, we will not be able to write down the nth term because otherwise we need to equate the coefficient of x raised to the power n and then we will not be able to put the uh, values back. So that is how the series solution of a differential equation where the series solution needs to be found out about a point where the given point is an ordinary point will be written. So in today's uh, lecture we have uh, discussed the series solution of a linear differential equation where the co coefficient must may not be constant. So this is the, the benefit of this uh, 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 method over rest of all the methods. So we have discussed that how the series solution will be written when the series solution is to be found out about a point where the given point is an ordinary point. So if the given point is an ordinary point about which the solution needs to be found out then the solution will be assumed for the given series. According to the given differential equation, the derivative of the solution will be found out. They will be substituted back in the given differential equation and then the various powers of x will be equated to find out the values of the constants. So that was the strategy for finding out the series solution for a differential equation where the given point is an ordinary point. For more details, you can refer to the book from H. Chand Publishing, details of which are given here and link is given in the description box. I am sure you must have liked the video and please do like, share and subscribe the video and press the bell icon to get the notification as and when next video will be uploaded. Thank you very much. All rights resolved. This video has been prepared for educational purposes only. No part of it may be reproduced or copied without the permission of the copyright holder.